top secret soldiers of the Ukrainian army, an elite group where only 10% of records make it through. They operate deep behind enemy lines, break sniper range records, and execute special operations on land, in the sky, and in the water. These are the Special Operations Forces, the youngest branch of the armed forces of Ukraine. The most intriguing operations carried out by the Special Operations Forces often remain undisclosed or are only revealed after a significant period of time. However, even the operations that do make it into the news appear impressive and highly diverse. Here, the SOF fighters aim and adjust their high Mars fire at a cluster of Russian forces, resulting in the destruction of Msta-S self-propelled howitzers, Grad multiple rocket launchers, and trucks carrying ammunition and personnel. Here, Ukrainian forces on two boats launch a sudden attack on the enemy on one of the Dnipro islands, destroy the Russian positions and finish off the remaining enemy with FPV drones. And here, working in coordination with their fellow soldiers, the SOF units destroy nine pieces of equipment near Bakhmut in one go. The total value of these weapons reaches tens of millions of dollars. During the summer, the entire world witnessed footage of Special Forces operators silently approaching the Russian rear and eliminating a dozen enemies in a close-up battle. The brains of the first orc we killed even remained in my boots. However, for the fighter himself, executing a unique operation behind enemy lines is not surprising. There was complete operational awareness. And everything was clear. We have always been preparing for this. We had a cohesive group, constant training and exercises that yield results. Speaking of constant training, it's an integral part of routine. The Ukrainian Special Operations Forces were established in 2016 with the vision of becoming the elite of the armed forces. Only 10% of candidates successfully passed the selection process. Even to apply, the command advises candidates to undergo at least five weeks of self-training, including 29 kilometers loaded marches with a 23 kilograms backpack. During the selection, candidates have to live in tents, completely cut off from the outside world. They can only move in bounds or face punishment for breaking this rule. Not everyone can endure the physical demands. Many candidates give up while others fail the psychological assessment. As a symbol of defeat, they must ring a bell hanging in the middle of the training ground. Those who do pass the selection proceed to receive further training. Each individual specializes in one of the following roles. Commander, engineer, weapons specialist, medic or communications operator. However, every specialization requires basic knowledge of the others. In the summer of 2023, the first woman successfully completed the full course. The prototype of Ukraine's training system is the Q course, which has been utilized by U.S. Special Forces at Fort Bragg for over half a century. The Ukrainian Special Forces adhere to the principle of incorporating the best Western practices. Same applies to weapons. By 2019, the SOF snipers had completely replaced their Soviet weaponry. They are now equipped with well-known American firearms, such as the Savage or Barrett M82A3, alongside the Ukrainian UAR-10. As a result, the SOF regularly release videos showcasing snipers hidden enemy targets at distances exceeding 2 kilometers. The Special Operations Forces also have special task units specifically tailored for amphibious operations. The servicemen of this center undergo a basic course at a diving school followed by advanced training as combat swimmers and international training conducted in a NATO country. The soldiers from this center were responsible for planting the flag on Snake Island upon its liberation. Although specific details of the operation are undisclosed, it is known that they reached the island using submersibles. In general, the elite force structure comprises three main components special forces, information and psychological operations, and resistance units. Thanks to this, the Special Operations Forces have been engaging in the most challenging missions across various regions of Ukraine since the first days of the full-scale war. They fought off the enemy during airborne assaults at the Hostomel airport near Kiev, defended the strategically important Moshun village which played a decisive role in the battle for the capital, 
engaged in fighting in Bakhmut and were the first to land on the liberated Snake Island. Currently, these skilled professionals attacking the enemy using both large and small drones, conducting troop landings and repelling enemy landing attempts, as well as organizing raids into the enemy's rear, both on foot and by helicopters. All of this makes the Special Operations Forces the elite of the Ukrainian Army. I have full confidence in myself, my abilities and my people. We have learned to help and trust each other. No one remains on the sidelines. No one remains on the sidelines during this disaster. The military and volunteers stand united, aware of the grave threat posed by Russia, a threat we are countering every day and will continue to do so.